one way to the cross. There got to be more than one way to Christ. But I think he said in the word, no man can come unto the Father except by who? It was Jesus Christ. That's the only way. Now, we may create other ways, but those ways will not get you to Jesus. Those ways will get you further away from him, even though the enemy will make you think that you are getting close to him. Mm, he lives, he deals in deception. Well, and as I tell the Bible study class quite often, think about if somebody been in deception business for way over 2,000 years, don't you think they're pretty good at their craft? Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing my job for 25, 25, 26 years, and I, I, I'm pretty good, but I still got a lot to learn. Amen? Amen. But the enemy, he, he's well versed in his craft, and he's been doing it for so long, he just put a twist on it every now and then and make it seem like it's something new. But it's the same thing, deception. Mm, 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 mm. As stated, this is not a pleasant thought. Not to anyone. Therefore, men do not want to hear such doctrine preached. Folks don't want to hear this. I go back to, and, I, and I, I know I've said this to you on numerous occasions, I go back to, I remember when I, when I first came to the Cobb County area and I started and I was preaching and one of the guys that I used to hang around with, he simply told me, he said, man, you gonna, you're not going to get me any preaching engagements. You're not going to um, ever pastor a church because you preach about sin too much. And by preaching about sin, people don't want to hear that. So ain't nobody going to want to be a part of that church. I said, okay. I said, I, I said to myself, am I missing something? I thought that's what God has told us to do. He said, go into the heads of the highways and the byways and compel people to come out of sin. Compel means to urge. Compel means to encourage. Compel means sometimes you got to push. You got to push hard and let them know that they don't, need to, they don't have to live in the condition that they're in. And it's not going to be pleasant all the time. You're going to run into people on the street that's not going to want to hear that. You're going to run into people in the church that's not going to want to hear that gospel. They're going to want to hear sugar. Most people do not like hearing that Jesus is the only Savior, the only mediator, the only way a person can be saved and accepted of God. They asked about the people who never heard about him and about other religions. There are people we, we know, I hate to say this, but you know, I, I, I always think about this, this uh, TV celebrity that always said there got to be more than one way to get to God than <clears throat> through Jesus Christ. I'm trying to be a little bit politically correct today since I see somebody recording. I'm trying, you know, just in case somebody want to come, I ain't going to call their name today. I'm being, y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But, but, mm -hmm. being, that's, I tell you, see me on the side, Marty. I don't know what you're talking about. I tell you. <laughs> but, the word of God simply states there is only one way and that is through Jesus Christ. The teaching of the scriptures could go on and on but the point is clear. People turn away from sound doctrine for a very simple reason. They do not want to hear the truth. They either do not agree with it or else they do not want to be reminded or think about it. We don't want to, we don't want to be reminded of ourselves, do we? Can we let's be real about this thing? And I want that's why I'm here today, church. I I have a mandate. I got to tell you the truth. Because I don't know how much longer God's gonna let have me here. I don't know how much longer he's gonna have you here. So before you go, you're going to know that there is hope for you. you you're going to know that you don't have to live in sin. Amen. Amen. Point number two is simply, 
People will want teachers who will allow them to live like they desire. There are churches busting out at the seams. Mm -hmm. And I have nothing against it. It, 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 it. There are some churches, and there are some, some of them that they're blowing up from all ends. And now, let, let, me, let me back up a minute. Kennesaw, we could, we could blow up <coughs> if we so desire. Yeah. If we want to do, if we do what God has called us to do. But the point I'm trying to make today is that there are some churches that are busting out at the scene because the ministers are not preaching the gospel. They are preaching, giving them what they want to hear, itching ears. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. it's all right. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. it's okay. Mm -hmm. And well, everybody make mistakes. Mm -hmm. I'll leave that at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> say, say that for me again, Freezer. Broad, say it again. Broad is the way. Uh huh. The, uh, I'm paraphrasing, but broad is the way to damnation. Mm -hmm. It's the narrow way to few that, few that find it. Few that find it. Few that find it. Few that find it. Simply saying, the road leading to hell is wide. The road leading to heaven is, is, is narrow. And you're going to have to lose some weight to go to heaven. All right now. Hello, somebody. If it's narrow, that means you can't go out there fat on sin. You got to you gotta slim down spiritually so you can fit through that. I'm not talking about all this physical stuff now. I'm talking about from the spiritual perspective. Amen? We got to get rid of some of this weight that's bogging us down. He says, cast all your care oh. upon me, for yeah, I care yeah, for yeah. you. Look to me as the author and the finisher of your faith. Yeah. Stop carrying around all this yeah. garbage. You don't have to live the way that you're living. There is hope. Yeah. We got to lay aside every sin and weight that so easily beset us yeah. or that trip us up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, now uh, I said point two is people will want teachers who will allow them to live like they desire. The Greek actor says that people will be dominated by their own lusts. They will be living lives of lust, craving, and gratification. I know this is not popular today, but I'm not running for mayor. I'm not running for city council. I'm not running for any political position. I'm here as a trump. I'm blowing the trumpet. I'm a watchman on the wall. And according to the word of God, if I am a watchman on the wall, I have a God-given responsibility to blow the trumpet. Amen. Amen. I have a God-given responsibility to let you know that trouble is on the way. As a watchman, the watchman responsibility is to sit on the wall and keep God over the, over the camp. Amen? Amen? And the watchman is to warn the, the people in the camp when trouble is about to come on the camp. And I am a watchman at KAMBC sitting on the wall and I'm blowing the trumpet to let you know hell and fear, fury is on its way and we need to prepare ourselves. Amen. Mm, 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 mm. Gratification. Lives that seek the gratification of the flesh through sexual immorality. Mm. Recognition and honor, power and authority, status and position, money and possession, <laughs> images and approval, discipline and no, no control, religion and personal uh, righteousness, good works and thinking that we can make it off of good works. We'll say by grace, Amen. not by works, least any man Amen. should boast. Such lust 
-hmm. and craving will so dominate people's lives that they will seek ministers and teachers who will tickle their ears with the message of personal development and self-image. Mm -hmm. well. yeah. How many of y'all hear a lot of this self-image and self-development preaching going on now? Mm -hmm. And people are flocking to it. But because it's appealing to them, it's appealing to the natural man. It's appealing to the flesh because it's letting you know you can do what you want to do and still think you can make it into the kingdom. It's a lie from the pit of hell. There's no truth behind it. Notice, know this. The message of personal development and self-image of philosophy, psychology, of religion, and good works are messages that benefit men, but they do not go far enough. Amen. You can go see a psychiatrist and lay on the couch and spill your guts and tell them, and I'm, not, I'm not talking against going to see somebody that gets some help. I'm not talking against that. I want you to understand. But what I am trying to get you to understand this today, that you need more than that. Yeah. All right, yeah. Amen. See, there's there's more to that. Mm -hmm. See, the natural man, if he does not know, have a personal relationship with God, that person can only give you what they know from the world's perspective. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. And if they're gonna think they only can tell you what they would do from the world's perspective. But as a preacher and as a minister of God, if you come to me, and I've told people on numerous occasions when they came to me and wanted counseling, and they said, Well, I want I want you to counsel me, but I don't want to hear nothing about that Bible. And I tell them right up, get up and go, you can get up and go then. Because you don't want to hear anything then. You want to hear what you want to hear, but I'm gonna give you the truth. Amen. Be as it may, you may not like the truth. But I'm going to tell you like I did with my son. I, we deal with each other. And in fact, we tell each other the truth. It's tough sometimes. Amen. And it's hard to chew, but we tell each other the truth. Amen. We don't sugarcoat it in the Span household. Had somebody come over one day, and then we were in the Span, and we were talking to each other, and we was on each other, and they looked, wow. That's, that's, we just tell each other the truth. There's no sugarcoating. Amen? And that's the way it ought to be when it comes to the word of God. And I say to the preachers, don't worry about trying to win a popularity contest. Because in the end, by winning a popularity contest, you damning yourself. Amen? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Being counsel, again, remember, I'm not trying to tell you not to go See somebody if you need some help. Amen. I'm not saying that by no means. I would never say that. But what I am trying to get us, especially us who are Christians, well, yeah. Amen. we need to step it up a little bit more. See, by us just going to the psychiatrist, going to the doctor, the doctors, remember, they're, on a, they're practicing. Right. 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 See, they right. practice. They don't, so that means if you're practicing, you're trying to get better. Amen. There are some things that you don't Amen. quite know. Amen. 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 Just like when I was coaching football and basketball and baseball, we had practice. Mm -hmm. And we tried to cover some things that, that we didn't know or that we knew that we thought we knew. But we realized after all, after we finished that team and beat our head down, we didn't know as much as we thought we knew. Amen. So we had to go back to the drawing board. But why not confide in somebody who created you? Why not confide in somebody that knows everything there is to know about you? Why not confide in somebody that knows every string of hair that you got and every one that you lost? Hello, somebody. Why not talk, talk to God, allow him to help you, but also remember Amen. when you're talking to God, don't just, just, just put yourself in a little island, a little corner, no, no. and don't have any dealing with people. Because God put people out there to help you. Amen. Amen. There's some good people out there. Everybody ain't out to get you. No. Everybody's out not out to hurt you. No. God has some good folks out there who can minister to you when you're hurting. He can who can minister to you when you're down and out. Who can minister to you when you're broke, busted, and disgusted? They can help you. Amen. 
But you got to allow God mm -hmm. to help you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 